This video is about our opinions on the generation's best rappers. And I've been looking forward to this. Like, is Kendrick just number one for everybody? Well, Kendrick is not my number one. Yeah, I have a little up there. It's like almost two decades. It's kind of broad. Like, it's a lot. And some it's people, not two decades. It's 18 years. Yeah. It's semantics. No, it's not semantics. Yes, it's it is. Kanye and Wayne are like Kanye and Wayne's probably my one and two. Kanye being one and Wayne being two. I think out of like influence. Like, for me per, for me personally, for me personally, um oh god. The whole young money, cash money era uh, uh, was the one was the thing <laughs> that started wanting me to start rapping. Oh. That was <laughs> a good time, bro. I know though, but graduation though, bro. Like that's what sparked it. Like graduation is what like like got me. Got me. Dude, so, on Kanye. I was late to Kanye. I like Bob's rap though. That was what got me on Kanye. I listened to that whole album like, straight through. I was like, yeah. oh. Right. I was really good. Then when late registration hit, I was like, how did he do better than that? Like, <laughs> like, how did he do better than that? It was like a continuum story. But see, I never listened to him like, when they came out. I was still. Ah, I got you. I got respect. So I listened to respect too. Mm -hmm. Except for graduation. <laughs> but bad too. Like, the most influential rapper. Are there any more? <laughs> is Kendrick really that influential? Can we say he's influential? Now he, I mean, now. But can we say he's influential? You, you yet? can't put him in a level of okay. Kanye. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Right. Yeah, so. Because, like, who yeah. has the influence other than other people on his label? I would put the game. Can we talk about the game? Do you think the game is influential? No. Like, not on the level of Lil Wayne. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, West Coast. I'm thinking about, because Kendrick is Compton. That's West Coast. If not Kendrick. I don't like staying with the West Coast. Like, would y'all not put the game? Uh, I feel like West Coast was still riding off of like, like the Grays and yeah. Doug stuff, like in the early two thousands. They still had like the G Funk type stuff, with mm. and like people like him. I just feel like when G when, when when the game joined, the Snoop is all kinds of the nineties. I just feel like when the game when the game joined G Unit, <coughs> like wait wait, he took them off. Oh, see, yeah, 50, 50, 50, 50. 50. 50 was definitely a foolish right. man. Not G Unit, but 50. <laughs> yeah, 50. Unit was nuts. It's unfortunate what he did. <laughs> I'll put Ja Rule, I'll put Ja Rule on there. DMX? Mm. I mean, DMX? No. A lot of DMX. <laughs> DMX? No. no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 DMX took oh, off late '90s, but like early 2000s, like. I, mean, I, I wouldn't call him that influential. You talking about 50 level though? Not, no, not 50 level. So you like, can't put him the same level. Bro, about Waka Flocka Twins. Just become best friends. Yup. Good Chris. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. That's why I said DMX. Yeah, Lud is so like slept on though. He's very. Really he's is. so slept on that he's not. I don't know if anyone that's I feel like, influential. I feel like a lot of people don't know that Ludacris is a rapper. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I really yeah, that's crazy. Like the same way, like LL Cool J. I didn't know LL Cool J rap. <laughs> like for a while, because all yeah, the movies he's been in. Well, you, put, you, put Jay -Z, you put Jay Z, like in that category, or you put him in the nineties? Like yeah. Blueprint. When Blueprint came out, and that was two thousand. And that was two thousand. So Jay Z would be in the category. Jay Z would definitely be in the category. What about Eminem? I don't know Eminem. Yeah. Know. Slim Shady. He broke, but he broke out like right. before. For the 2000s, but it's still, but his albums after that were early 2000s and they, they were crazy. He's got a pretty good amount of influence. I mean, Eminem's fall, like in terms of albums, didn't happen until like 06, 07. Yeah. So I mean, before then he was like taking over. Who do you think will be the new, like the new big three? I think Chance will be in that new big three. Kendrick, Chance, Chance Kendrick, and Dang. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we taking Drake away? Yeah. Yeah. In terms of influence? No. For the future? In the future. Yes. Because Drake is. Why are we including Ken Kendrick's? I mean, Kendrick. So he's the, he's in that. You think he'll he'll okay? He's gonna leave that big three and just go into this next big well, three. Well, I think. Kendrick, what do you mean like the Kendrick, what was the Cole, Drake, Kendrick Cole and Drake? Kendrick Cole and Drake. That was yeah. a big three. That's a big three. It but was. What are we talking about? Now Cole is not in that anymore. Yeah, we know. Drake. So, is people, Drake is doing. Most, Drake people, is not even he, rapping anymore. People, people still, people still, people still consider Jay Cole in that. In that because people, he still sells. I mean, because of his skill, 
like people know that he's nice, but his in albums terms of like are not on par with yeah, it's not Drake and Kendrick anymore. Like, all right, so I say Kendrick in third place. Gene, if you ain't first, you're last. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, like, okay, <laughs> but big I, say, I, say, I say I say Kendrick is gonna be like the next Jay Z level. Like he's gonna be hot for the next. I don't see Kendrick like. Yeah, I don't know how they can fall off. How's Kendrick like? Unless he decides. Kendrick, Kendrick decides. Decide 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 Kendrick will burn to death. Like he's not. He's <laughs> he, won't, he won't be put out. He won't be put out. Yeah. Hypothetic. Know. Hypothetically though, I can't see. I will it. put Kendrick and Chance on there, but I don't know what third one. Will be. I still. Put if not Drake. Third one. Let's see. I don't know. It's not gonna be Big Sean. I don't think. Heck no. Why did you just say, <laughs> why did you just say his name? <laughs> Because people say that. People be like, yeah, it's Drake. It's Drake and hey, Big Sean at the top. I guess it's going to have to be some pussy. Who's the biggest thought. influence in trap? Yeah. Me goats! Uh, I'd probably say Migos. Yeah, I'd probably say Migos. No, nah, I don't know. Who's going to say that? Who really started? Well, is that the question? Like, no, no, I, I, no, 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 I think, I think Migos question. is the biggest influence in trap, but I want right to like... Right now? Yeah. Yes, right now. But who would you say, like, overall? I would say Future has a bigger influence okay. in trap than that, that's, Migos. That, that's, that's, okay. Okay. Future, I think, was the first one, like, first one I heard on the radio where I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Who's this dude? I heard, I heard Tony... Tony... Uh, Tony... Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. I was like... Tony Martin. Tony Low key, Drake helped all of them because he was on Versace. Yeah, he was on. He was on Versace. He was on. He was on Tony so, Montana. Hey, he might have put him on that Drake feature. Ooh, maybe Drake started. Yeah, Drake, Drake, <laughs> Drake, Drake, Drake started. Drake. 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 Wait, what about Nicki though? Not trap. No, not trap. It's like it's oh, infant. Oh, huh. Is she the biggest in terms of when we think about hip hop and women in rap? 100. percent And women in rap, yeah. 100%. I was about to say. 100%. I was about to say if she wasn't a woman, she would probably have more influence. Yes, it is. Safari so comeback. Oh! Oh! Performance. Okay, what about DJ Khaled though? Performance. DJ Khaled's always gonna be here. I feel like he's just. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, DJ Khaled will be done when he decides. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, Assad will take over. <laughs> <laughs> There's auto tune crooning like type of rap, and it started. I mean, T Pain kind of. T Pain though, but he's not. He's not. Oh yeah. Was I mean, that considered? You can say problem? you can say T Pain's like extremely influential just because he used auto tune. And he, and, he yeah. and everyone else uses auto tune now, so I mean you can yeah. say that. But T Pain yeah. still uses the best. What about white rappers? I said Eminem. Other than Eminem. White rappers, I just want to say I don't care for Post Malone. Hey, hey, yeah. Well, first we forgot about them going back to influences. It's not really, I mean, not on the level of a Lil Wayne or T.I. Oh, oh, I forgot yeah. about them. It's the South. Yeah. The South, bro. But that, that he was influenced against by the Andre Dollar. That's how oh, all my, man. bro. What about Cuddy? Nobody oh, talks about Kid right. Cudi. Well, so. this is what we were talking about rappers, so. Yeah. I call Kid Cudi a more of a rapper than most of these dudes. Cudi still raps? Yeah, he's mostly a singer. But yeah. the, the, the people that he's very influential. Kid Cudi is Travis Scott. Travis Scott calls <laughs> Kid Cudi's biggest influence. Yeah. Like, Cudi we influence. don't talk about Cudi enough. Cudi influence. Kanye, Bro, what Drake. Is the... Chance has Chance been on the low low. Mm. I wonder what yeah. he's I don't know. If you want to I don't know if Chance. Yeah, that's, that's what I was, that's thinking. What I was thinking. Like, I ain't heard. It's been a while. Like, does he have to do more for us to put him up there? Because mm -hmm. the man only has three projects for real. All mixtapes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's never gonna lose out. Right, but I just count. Uh, I, I just I'll call them albums anyway. But he only has three projects, three albums, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever. He only releases <laughs> one. And I, don't, I still don't count surf. Just because of yeah, his exactly. yeah, 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 so. But he only releases one in like every blue moon, so mm -hmm. like. I feel but like that works for some people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just heard about Jay Z. So you know how he used the Annie sample on Hard Not Life? Mm -hmm. It's the Hard Not Life. He had to get it sampled from Annie, 
But now, if a rapper uses that sample, they don't have to get it cleared through NXT, but they just have to go through Jay. Because apparently, like, he made that happen, or it's like he clears it instead of people that deal with Annie. Dang. Hey, Jay-Z lit. controls the Annie sample. That's lit. Jay-Z, that is in, that's impact. <laughs> Bro, that's like, that's like, that's <laughs> like how uh, Michael Jackson owns all the Beatles catalog. <laughs> it's cousin Bob. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, tell us what y'all think is the best, like, most influential rappers of our generation. Yeah. yeah. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Dislike it if you like. If you don't. And so, yeah. tell us if we're stupid and you think you and think all our points were just invalid and we don't know what we're talking about. I mean, it really doesn't matter. We're big boys. Yeah, we can take it. We'll argue with you in the comments. I'll be waiting. Yeah, y'all. Thank y'all for watching, man. Simplicity Productions.